Hey guys, so today we're going to be going to check out a local thrift store or a secondhand shop as they're called in Japan. Now, if you've never been to a secondhand shop in Japan, they're really quite a fascinating experience,、um, just as they'd be in any place in the world, I imagine.、Um, I'm super into antiques and I love hunting for treasures and like unique kinds of little trinkets and items. So it is literally just like treasure hunting, and especially in Japan, like there's always some really interesting. Seeing unique, one of a kind things that you probably would never find anywhere else. Today's mission is we need to sell a few things.、Uh, we have an old microwave that we got when we first moved here before our shipment came from America. It's taking up valuable real estate space in the kitchen, so we just thought we would try and sell it. And I've got a couple clothes that no longer fit, and we have some games and some books.、Uh, if you don't know, it's really difficult to get rid of unwanted、uh, or no longer needed items in Japan. Um, you can't just throw anything away, you know, like in your trash.、Um, if it's like large or oversized gomi or trash, you need to call a special person and they have to come and pick it up. And you oftentimes have to pay for it depending on like what, what the item is. You can drive around and hope to find a drop off location for certain things, but that's really only feasible if you have a car. Or if it's close to like a station or something. But if you're carrying a lot of bulky items, that's like really hard to carry somewhere. So it can be pretty spotty looking for certain locations. And some places only take, like, for example, cardboard or books and magazines, while others accept clothing but not shoes and bags. This actually happened to us recently. We had to get rid of some clothes and We brought some bags and shoes too, and like there was a big sign saying no shoes, no bags. So, like, now we have to figure out where we're gonna throw those away. <laughs> the best way to, to get rid of things that are still in good condition or even like slightly worn condition is to take them to a thrift store. Now, you'll probably get probably only around 10 yen or so per item, especially if it's clothing, like it's pretty cheap, and then they like mark it up like. 200% more expensive than it would be, than you're actually making money off of. But hey, you know, it's better than having to pay somebody to, you know, like to dispose of it for you. My guess is the microwave, the clothes, and the books are going to be maybe 500 yen total. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. One thing I'm always looking for is I really want to get like an old antique style tansu, which is like a chest of drawers. Like I always see pictures of friends and like people. Online, finding like these really cool, like old chests and stuff like that. So, I'd really love to find one for our future home. We'll see if we can find one today. But, yeah, so onward to today's mission. So, like, as I was saying, we were decluttering our house a little bit, and so I found these two articles of clothing. So, this is a dress that's way too big for me. I don't know why I have this. And this skirt is also too big for me, so I guess I lost some weight. So I'm gonna try and sell these two things. Okay, here we are. This is hard off or off house. And they, it's so like it's like household goods and、Mother. it's related to Book Off, which is like the book, like a used, a used bookstore, I guess.、Um, there's also like a Daiso in here. Like a pet shop and an electronics store. Anyway, we're gonna go to the second hand shop part first and sell some stuff, hopefully. So, as you can see, there are tons and tons and tons of women's clothing here. I think probably the most interesting part of the thrift stores is just looking through all the stuff. And as you can see, there's like a huge amount of things here, including 
anime collectibles and like, these instruments. Yeah, guitars. There's like a trombone in that case, I think. Finally, here we're at the men's section, and yeah, it's pretty decent size. There's a lot of shoes and stuff on sale. There's like watches, wallets. And now we're at furniture and like home goods section in the back of the store. They have like, as you can see, like futon, blankets, and tons of dishes. I was so tempted to buy everything here. I have a weakness for Japanese ceramics and pottery. And then they had like mini fridges, washing machines, ovens, oven ranges. Um, yeah, and like what irons, little vacuum cleaners. Yeah, and look at all these cool dishes. Super neat. Yeah, there's just like items of anything you can possibly imagine. I mean, like, look at all these blankets, and they even had umbrellas and like higasa, which are parasols and rice cookers. Oh, and they had a wine fridge, lights. Uh, these are amazing because. They can be expensive if you buy them new. They even had like children's items and all these like old statues, which are kind of weird, kind of funky, kind of interesting. <laughs> we had more space, I might be tempted. But yeah, like look at all these displays. They have like Kokeshi dolls and like just anything. Probably m most of this stuff is not worth all that much, but like, look, they had some safes here. That's, that was kind of a neat safe, actually. I guess antique style cabinet. No more eagle Clocks. You can get yourself a snazzy anime clock here if you want it. Or other little collectible figures. And of course, we've got the Gundams, which is our favorite thing. <laughs> oh, Evangelion Mata. And like other anime Gyaru statues. <laughs> now back to the clothes. Oh, I love this. It's got like astrological signs on it. Oh, how much is this? I really want this. This is so cool. Ooh. They have kimono, used kimonos, and like ogi, ogi, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like kimono the whole sheet. Oh, what a guy. I love this one. Sorry. Hmm, oh, I like this one too. It's kind of scratchy though, me too. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. I love the pattern of this. Ooh. Ooh, look at this pattern. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I want them all. <laughs> Ooh, this is cute. Oh, 3.30. Oh, they have them organized by color. Oh, look at these pants. Look at these pants. Look at these pants. They're so funky. Oh, yeah. One pair. ワンワンなのあれ、カーディガーとかもあるいるわ。おお、玄関。あ、ネタもネタもあるかいいな。待って、ネタもある。いや。はい。はい。あ、いくら。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ。だ
<笑>ほらレイレイゼニガメあレオゼニガメ見つけたこれレイレイぴったり欲しいでしょ<笑>お、うジンベエちょうど上のサイズでもこの色は合わないな<笑>ジンベエとかあるのなんかお祭り行ったらいいってもでも今年祭りないなジンベエってどうしてそう、ですね。で、私はこれを着て、ちょっとこれを着て、ちょっとこれを着て、ちょっとこれを着て、ちょっとこれを着て、ちょっとこれを着て、ちょっとこれを着て、ちょっとこれを着て、ちょっとこ
even though they're so petite. But I really just like this blouse and this will look good tucked into a skirt. And also you could reverse it. They, I noticed in the fashion shops this year, they have a lot of like reversible tops. So like the back technically buttons, um, buttons up, but you could also like move this to the front as well. And then I got this kind of, I don't know, it, it honestly, it's kind of like a moo moo dress, but it's really cute. I tried it on at the shop and I thought if I paired it with a belt, it would look really nice. And this is also a nice light cotton material. So I'm really into that. And the last thing I got was this, it's kind of like a kimono cardigan. It could also work as a beach cover up um, or just like a light early fall sort of cover up to wear over like a tank top and jeans or something. So this is cute too. So that was my thrift store haul. What did you think? Um, I thought the prices were pretty reasonable there. What they do is they have like a different tag color. They have a tag color system. And so like they put different tag colors on different items of clothing and then based on what color they are, that's how much you pay. So for example, the black tags were 550 yen. And then like uh, green tags were 330 yen and then white tags were 120 yen. So I got a mixture of all of those, but the total came out to just around 3000 yen for like nine pieces of clothing. And then we got two get video games for Maki and uh, two toys for the kids. So all in all, not a bad deal. If we had bought that much stuff, like at full price at a store, it would have been probably like almost a, like two Niman, like 20,000 yen. So. I think that was good. <laughs> it's so addicting going to secondhand shops. It's like a treasure hunt. And like, honestly, I would do it all the time. If, if I didn't have self-control, I would be there all the time. I think my favorite piece was probably that red polka dotted top, or it's kind of like a rusty colored polka dotted top. And then also I really like the white scolar dress that has like a weird print on it. That was really cute. And also the kimono cardigan. I love the little, like, uh, can you see like the little pineapple pattern on it and like weird stuff on it? I just looked up online and the brand goes for like 80 or $90 for like a dress like this. And I got it for 500 yen. Score! <laughs> But um, yeah, anyway, hopefully I'll get some wear out of those and you can find like the best clothing or like by brand names or like expensive boutique clothing there. Yeah, I mean like you're always going to find something unexpected there and you never, you never know what you'll come back with. For example, a large zenigame stuffed animal that the kids love. <laughs> there were a couple other things there that I would have liked to look at more so I guess we'll probably go back next time sometime, maybe in for the fall or winter but um yeah so thanks for watching today's video hope you enjoyed if you want to see more videos like this please like subscribe comment thank you and we'll see you next time bye